So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to get your car to pass emissions. It's things that I use on a regular basis whenever I've got trouble with cars. So um, here's the tips. Hope they help. Now, number one, service your car. Make sure you change the oil, plugs and filters, both filters, the fuel filter as well as the air filter. If any of these are clogged up, it changes the whole air density and ratio within the engine. It will make your car burn in a way that's not beneficial. It makes it less economic. It does a lot of bad things. So make sure you change your filters and make sure you change your spark plugs. Once again, does basically the same thing as the the um, air filter. It, will, it won't make it ignite. It won't make your fuel ignite properly. So make sure you give your car a full service so that it can work the way it's supposed to. So that's a very simple thing. You should do it anyway. Okay, if you've got a diesel car, um, you're not going to have spark plugs but what you can do is use um, like a diesel purge there's one called liquid molly i've actually got a video of it the link will be in the description so that's how you can clean your injectors if you haven't but if you haven't don't worry about it just continue to do the things that i'm going to tell you to do in the video and that should help okay number two clean your mass airflow sensor this tells the ecu exactly the amount of air that's coming in and how much fuel to put to the air ratio so it's important that this is clean so you're getting the right commands going to the ECU so give that a clean once again I've got a video for that link in the description um, watch it and that should help as well number three water decarbonization I love this method I think it's excellent it's very simple the science is very simple it's a sound way and there's proven fact that it actually works whereas a lot of these other cleaners and additives there's no real evidence that it actually works so i would use water decarbonization to clean it inside of your car and um make it run a bit more efficient so that's another thing i would advise now after you've done that the fourth thing i like to do is to take it for a good run or give it some good revs to make sure it's really revving out because um a lot of times uh the, the way we drive the car in city and in town, very mundane, it actually clogs up the car. So a good rev or a no like, um, you know, on the motorway, 60, 70 miles an hour, obviously be legal. Um, that generally blows out a lot of rubbish that's actually in the car. So that's a very good thing to do before you go and do your emissions test. And number five, last but, but not least, um, I think this is a very important one and it's very easily missed. I don't really understand why that no one ever really mentions it, but this is a very good point. Before you go to the emissions, before you go to get your emissions test, put good quality fuel in your car. It is much better. <laughs> the good quality fuel is better. I know a lot of us avoid it because we feel it's more expensive, but it really, really isn't. I'm actually gonna do a video on that, on my experiences with it, but put good quality fuel in your car. Good quality fuel burns better, it burns cleaner, your car runs better, the benefits are just endless. So put good quality fuel in your car. For some reason, no one ever really mentions that, but it's a good thing to do. So before you go to your emissions test and you've had your run and your blowout, put, make sure your car's running good quality fuel. So if it goes close to empty and you fill it up with a quarter of a tank or whatever you usually fill it up with, just get it running on that good stuff because it will all help to um, make your car run better. Okay, so they're my tips. That's what I usually do. And nine times out of 10, that works, provided nothing's actually wrong with the car. So I hope that helps. Comment, rate, subscribe.